through the top current. That was awesome. I'll never forget that. Woo! Awesome swim throughs. And that current was ripping. I mean, ripping hand over hand down the rope, sliding up. The safety stop was tough. It was awesome. Wide Open Outdoor Adventures with your host, Dave Valtier. Hello race fans, Dave Valtiera here with Wide Open. Today we're going to be in Florida, Key West, Florida, and scuba diving the Vandenberg Shipwreck is coming your way. Valtiero with Wide Open Outdoor Adventures. I'm in Key West. This is the final destination of our diving adventure. We're here at Lost Reef Adventures and we're going to go out with the great guys here at the most southern point of the United States, Key West, Florida. We're going to dive on a huge shipwreck. It's going to be the Double Vandenberg. It's going to be excellent. Stay right where you're at. I didn't know it when I arrived in Key West, but this turned out to be a technical dive. I've been scuba diving for over 30 years. Every time I see something new and make new friends. All right, so let's gear up and give it a go. We'll give it a bloody go. All right, we got some serious current here. We'll see if we can man this camera down the ropes I've got to go down. And when you feel it ease up, get a couple pulls. I mean, it pushes you back, just hold on. Couple pulls, hold on. So you'll feel it's like the surge in the in the reef. Same thing. It's like don't try to fight against it. Let it let it work for you. So when it's pulling you back, just hold on. Okay. When it's when it eases up or pushes you a little bit, take a couple pulls and then just hold on and try not to kick. If you're kicking, you're going to burn through a lot of air. Okay. You're using big muscles, you're going to burn through most of your tank before you get down to the wreck. So if you just try to let yourself relax as much as you can, you'll save a lot of air. Also, try not to turn your head. <laughs> and I, I know it sounds funny. If you turn your head, your mask is gone. <laughs> um, and same thing with the regulator. It's just turning my head, my regulator wanted to free flow. So as much as you can, try to face directly into the current. Okay, so as you're pulling along, just watch where you look down every now and then if you want, because you can see the wreck, you can see the superstructure down. That's pretty cool. Get there. I hope we can get to that wreck. About 100, 130 feet? 522 feet long, over 70 feet wide. It sits in 150 feet of water with the main deck at about 90 feet. Purpose sunk for diving, so there's tons of great swim throughs and lots to see. If we can get to it. <laughs> all right, all right. I'm Current gonna, willing. I'm going to tighten this mask up. Yeah. Can you tighten this mask up one little one right. setting or so? Make sure I don't lose it. All right, grab on that side line. That was an adrenaline run. I tell you, coming up that rope, I felt like Superman. I was in Universal Studios. I'm going up that rope. Then I get here to the boat. Everything's perfect. Everything's perfect. And then I see Mike trying to grab my camera from one of the light arms. And I know that's going to pop off. So I reach up to try to talk to him. Hey, don't grab it from there. Boom, my mask washes off. So I had to tell you what, that was an adrenaline run. That was basically, for me, a technical dive over the top. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back with more wide open outdoor adventures. Ow! Ow! 
I had to stop in at Pepe's here in Key West and get me a fish sandwich. This is the oldest restaurant in all of the Keys. It was established in 1909. It's time to dig in. Pepe style. I tell you what, Dave, that was awesome, man. Over the top. I was hand over fist to get down there, and then I was Superman coming up. I even lost my mask at the water. Mike's grabbing the camera. I was worried he's going to rip one of the light arms off. That was an adrenaline run, man. That was a good day. Was good. I'm glad you stuck that out. That was <laughs> that, current. Absolutely. We had to tether the camera to me because I didn't have any, any way to hold the camera in hand to hand. That was an adrenaline run. Yep. So tell us where on, on the vessel we went. All right. So we started out here on ball number three. That's where we're moored up. <clears throat> so when we dropped down, we dropped down off the port side okay, and cruised along the deck here. And you could feel it was a nice, easy swim back until we got to the back of the boat and all of a sudden the current hit us because we were exposed again. So when we got to the back of the boat, we dropped down into uh, a hatch right there, one deck down below the main deck. And what we dropped into was called the carpentry shop. The beeping that you hear is my dive computer telling me information on decompression. And as you swam into the middle of the compartment, you saw there was a great big table saw in the middle of the deck. Yeah, you pointed that out. Still has a saw out. blade in there. I, I didn't know what that was. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. When you look down in, you realize what it is. Cool. And I don't know if you noticed, when I went to the aft bulkhead and I pointed out what was on the bulkhead, it's an old mirror. What's left of a mirror? Okay. But if you saw me adjusting my hair as we were down there. Yeah, you look good. All right. Yeah. On Wide Open, we're going to take you to the next level. Subscribe today.
if you saw when I pointed down one deck below us, there was those great big cylinders laying on their sides. That was the hydraulic cylinders that control the rudder. So the rudder ram controller. So neat little view there. Yeah. And then we popped out right here on the starboard side. Came up to the main deck and started our way along. And then there's a hatch right here. We went through the ship under, that's the engine exhaust deck. So when we swam through the ship, you were looking down into the catwalks and seeing all the piping coming up. That was the boiler room for the ship. So you're looking down into the, the guts of the engine as it were. So then we popped out on the starboard side, or port side, believe that, went forward. The majesty of this shipwreck was legendary. I was able to video the vessel by staying on the side of the ship where the ship basically blocked me from the strong currents. And then right, uh, right behind that antenna, we swam through the ship again, through that passageway. And then we popped out on the starboard side. The swim throughs on this ship can be technical. You wouldn't want to get lost inside this ship, run low on air and not know how to get back out. came forward and then we went into the ship right here and there was okay. a big double wide cutout hatch swam into the ship and turned up the middle of the ship that was crazy yeah, that yeah was... they were it gets all nice and dark in there yeah it got dark one hundred percent the rule on this dive stay with your dive master We finished the dive, we came into that double wide cutout, popped into the middle of the ship and swam forward through those three compartments. And then the last one we came out in was the elevator shaft. Remember some of those elevator shaft doors open? Oh yeah. Looking down that elevator shaft, you're looking down to 135 feet. So if you drop straight down, you basically go to the bottom of the ship. Um, and then if you notice, there's that American flag hanging from the overhead in front of that elevator shaft. It's one of the people come in to hang flags on that Vandenberg all the time. That's one of the few that's been down there since it sunk and has stayed there because it's out of the current so it doesn't get all torn up. And then we came up out of the elevator shaft and then right back up here to where our mooring line is attached and, and then enjoyed our e-ticket ride coming back up the line. It got exposed to the current again and coming all the way back up.
On this dive, getting down in four knots of current and getting back up were the real challenges. This was a technical dive. The descent and the ascent was awesome. Click subscribe and you'll be on your way to the next wide open adventure. Contact my new friends in Key West, Florida at Lost Reef Adventures and you can dive the Vandenberg. Too cool.